Hi everyone, I'd like to show you three apps that I've been using recently in early years. So this is for children of the age of about three, maybe four years old. I've been working with these children to actually encourage them to understand some of the language. So we've been talking about sequences and fixing the problem or debugging and things like that. So the first app that I'll, I'll show you is one that Apple actually recommends and it's called the Foos. So when you go into this app you have an option to actually sign up as a teacher or you can start as a parent. I'm going to go in as a teacher and then I'm going to tap on the hour of code here, the Foos. Okay and then I can tap on the Foos here. So in my lesson we talk about what's on the screen, uh, we talk about the numbers, what they mean, what the padlocks mean and things like that. So when we start by going into level one, you get a little cartoon here that they can watch. We can go forward on that. And there are no words involved. So it's very simple for the children to sort of understand what's going on. So they can see here by the finger that you need to move it in. So let's do that. And the character is walking or running. And then we can tap on the little green man. And he has to eat the donut. And then we go on to the next level. And you say to them, what do we need to do? So we need to go and eat the donut. But there's something different this time. There's something in between the donut and the green man, which is a little emerald. So we're going to get that. We're going to go forward two times. And then we press the little green man, and then that will get that. So you can go further and further forward on that. So if we go back to our home here, you can see I've got to level four here. And this involves the character jumping. So we've got another command here. That they have to understand and there's another piece of vocabulary that I'm trying to get them to understand is the word command so they can progress further and further and it gets increasingly more difficult as they go on so that's the foos the next app I'd like to show you is an app called Coda Pillar and this is Coda Pillar and this is an app that relates to the actual physical toy called Coda Pillar I bought one of these for my daughter who's three years old and she absolutely loves it. And if you go to the website shown in the link below, you could order one of these Coda Pillars and they're pretty reasonable price. So let's go into Coda Pillar. So here we talk about again, what's on the screen, what numbers there are, how many numbers, what number does it go up to, etc., etc. All the things that you might want to talk about when you're speaking to young children. So let's click on level one. And the idea here is for the caterpillar to reach the star. So it gives you some clues by telling you to move the arrow over to one of the brown boxes. So we have to tap the target at the end. So let's do that. So again, another app that gets increasingly more difficult as we go along. So here we got this again. So this time we're moving the arrow in. So that's the Coda Pillar app. Now the third app I'd like to show you is one called Code Carts. Now this is a paid app if you go for the school version. But what I like about it is that you can record the student's progress by tapping on kid. It's asking you if you are a, an adult. So we're going to type that in here. Then what you can do is you can start setting your children up in your classroom uh, to play the app. So let's play the app to see what happens. We don't actually have to set the children up in order to play the app. So I'm going to tap on the, the car at the start here. And then we can choose the level. So let's start with level one. And again, it's very simple. What, it's, what we're doing is we're dragging the key to start the car and then we tap the car. And then we move on to level two. So let's show you an, a, a more difficult level. Let's go up to level 10 and see this level is a little bit more tricky. So we're talking with, so we need to start the car. Then we have to go up. Then we have to go right. Then we have to go up again. Then we have to go right. Then we have to go down. Then we have to go left and then we have to go down and then we tap the car. So what I particularly like about these apps, it encourages mistakes and failure. 
So they have to keep going until they've actually achieved and have solved the problem. So it's really toning in on those skills and teaching the children to be patient, resilient, and to persevere in figuring out how to solve the problem. So I hope you can have fun with those three apps. In the next video, I'm gonna show you some apps that are good for maybe Key Stage 1 and Early Key Stage 2. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.